Hey, what's up guys? It's Risky here. In today's video, I have five pro tips for new players on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Hopefully this video will help some of you out. If you need more useful videos, then be sure to check out my newbie eyes playlist on my channel. There's tons of useful videos in there that are perfect for people that are new to Call of the Wild and need a better understanding of the game. Okay, so let's get straight into the first tip. The first scope you get on Call of the Wild isn't the best in the world. It has a pretty low zoom capability on it, which makes it hard to make nice shots on animals that are farther away so i recommend you save up 12,000 credits to buy the hyperion this scope is going to be a huge upgrade and now you'll be able to land a lot more shots on animals and hit them in those vital organs we all know how annoying it can be to make a bad shot and have to track an animal for a really long time thankfully now we have the bloodhound so they make it a little bit easier on you especially when you're a newer player and you don't have all those tracking skills or perks yet this next tip is going to be for my PC players as console doesn't have any graphic settings. If you don't really care about having super realistic graphics and having a really nice looking game, then I suggest turning off fog volume quality as it will make the fog on the map very thick, which will then make it very hard to see animals in the distance. Also, I would turn off heat haze for the same reason. It just makes it ugly blur in the distance that is just going to make it a lot harder to see. So turning these settings off is going to help you see a lot more animals and also give you a few extra frames per second, which I mean, you can never complain about that. Another tip I can give you is if you are playing on a fresh map that you haven't explored much of yet, just go around and collect all of the watchtowers and outposts. This is going to uncover parts of the map and allow you to fast travel from outpost to outpost, which is going to save you a lot of time traveling across the map especially if you are doing the missions normally you have to travel pretty far away for them so being able to just fast travel to the nearest outpost will be pretty convenient. I always get questions from newer players asking, what is the best starter rifle to buy? And I always reply saying the seven millimeter. It's going to cost you 36,000 credits, but it's very, very worth it. The seven millimeter has a weapon class range from four to nine. This is very good because just with this one rifle, you will be able to take a very wide variety of animals. For example, anything from white-tailed deer, which is level four, to a cave buffalo which is level 9 and anything in between it's definitely one of the best guns in the game and the perfect first rifle to purchase on call of the wild when first starting out you may notice that you can buy scents from the store i know they seem cool and all like "Ooh, i can buy a sin to help attract animals that's awesome well yeah it is awesome but if i'm being honest with you they are pretty garbage even though they are relatively cheap at only 1500 credit it's still not worth it spend that money on med kits ammo or you know like more useful stuff I'm sure some people could argue that the scent sprays are worth buying, but I feel like since you are a new player and you probably don't have a lot of money to spend, you're just better off saving those hard-earned credits. I have like a thousand hours in Call of the Wild, and I've probably used the scent sprays maybe once or twice, and I never really found a good use out of them. So just save that money, folks. Save that money and buy that 7mm. There you go. That's the plan. That's what you gotta do. Screw the scent sprays. I know this video is probably pretty short, but that's the point. But maybe now after watching this video, you are one one step closer to becoming a pro at Call of the Wild. I never do like goals on this channel, so let's go for 200 likes on this video. I would really, really appreciate that. So thanks so much for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.